Hi Brett, this is a video update on the Evo 10 SST transmission. Now we've done some videos in the past, thought it was appropriate to give you another update in a timely manner since our recent update last year. And again, we've got the transmission out of a car, we're doing a clutch pack upgrade and I want to show you some more information about this transmission which is a growing concern with some of the maintenance issues with this particular Evo 10 and the Lancer Rally Art. Um, because the rally art shares a similar transmission. So I'll get my video cameraman to come around close and we'll just do a quick revision. This is um, the transfer case on the back of the Getrag box. This is effectively the drive side of the transmission that connects up to this part here, which is the flywheel on the side of the um, engine. And around the back here, you can see where we've removed the valve body and this is the whole assembly there. Now, this particular filter down here is one filter that is known to get dirty. The downside is to replace that filter, you've got to dismantle the whole transmission. We now supply these filters if they look like they need to be cleaned. But of course, if they're not dirty, we don't want to remove them because it is a major job to split the case open. But also what I want to show you closely here is just the complexity of the valve body and how important it is to keep your transmission clean when you're maintaining this car. And unfortunately, um, Mitsubishi, don't always say change the oil often enough because even though the oil is ridiculously expensive when you consider the cost of repairing and replacing this transmission the oil is actually relatively cheap inside the drive side of this transmission here are these clutch packs which are the drive plates here and the seals and this then all is encapsulated in this cover assembly that goes back across the top of it now we've had people in the past say to us, well, how do I know if I need to modify the clutch packs? How do I know what I need to do? Well, one of the really important things to understand is, is if you've modified your uh, Lancer Rally Art or Evo with this transmission in the car, and you're putting more torque through the transmission because the car is going a lot quicker, it is vital that you speak to your tuner to make sure that he has modified the information that this transmission relies upon to change the way it works. Now the way to know this yourself is if when you've had a, um, an upgrade done and your supply chosen workshop has said, look, I've tuned your factory ECU, a quick and easy way to tell if he's done it properly from the transmission reliability point of view, let's forget about whether the engine tune is reliable. Let's just talk about the transmission side. So this date, nobody in the world that I'm aware of yet has reliably got a solution for custom tuning the ECU in this transmission because it's a wet ECU inside the box. So let's put that to one side. There is a signal that goes from the engine control unit, which is part of the adjustable tune which we use with uh, Ecutech tuning software, that sends a signal to the transmission ECU that the transmission relies upon to decide how the clutch uh, packs change gears and how they clamp together because this transmission, the clutches never lock up 100%. They are designed to always have some element of slip because it's the slipping in the clutch packs that um, dampen the drivetrain and take some of the vibrations out of the engine drivetrain that Mitsubishi and Getrag have designed into the um, factory settings of your car. But what is important is if you put more torque into the transmission, that is more power, but it's torque that, was the, that is what makes a car quick, is if the transmission ECU doesn't know that, then it will slip more. It's like driving around with an old fashioned manual clutch with your foot lightly touching the clutch. Sooner or later, that clutch will wear out a lot quicker and exactly the same thing happens with these transmissions. The other thing is if that signal is not tuned correctly out of the engine control ECU, the transmission will also flare between gear chains. Now I had a person the other day asking me this question. He said, oh, when I have my uh, ECU tuned, um, afterwards the uh, ch gear chains were a lot more smooth. Well. That is actually probably because the transmission is slipping between gear changes and not locking up properly with the signal that it relies on. So that's a little bit of information that you need to be aware of if you're getting your engine ECU retuned to match the SST transmission logic that the transmission ECU control unit relies upon to control the transmission ECU. So back to the last thing, these are the parts that slip and these are the things that will wear out. And unfortunately, after you've had a engine ECU, if this transmission ECU is not working properly, these clutches wear out prematurely, and unfortunately not for about another six or 12 months time will you realize that that tuner that you got done some time ago didn't do his job properly. You've got no way of coming back and um, getting him to pay for the costly rebuild. We had a client many, many years ago, unfortunately suffered the same place. 
he had to replace the whole transmission, unfortunately. So the other thing to remember, when this gearbox is all back in, it's vital that you're dealing with someone who knows how to bleed the transmission oil properly. Um, Mitsubishi supply the transmission oil, which is uh, branded Diqueen, but it's SST transmission oil. Really, really important that you use the right stuff. These days, we don't tend to use the aftermarket stuff because we haven't found any benefit in the aftermarket stuff, which is still slightly more expensive than the genuine Mitsubishi oil. Um, and also, you need a quite a lot of it. So there you have it. a little bit more info about your Mitsubishi Evo 10 Lancer Rally Art SST semi-automatic clutchless transmission. Hopefully, wherever you are in the world, um, this will help you learn a bit more about what to look for when you're looking for a performance upgrade or how to maintain this transmission and look after it. They are incredibly good transmissions if they are looked after properly. They are very, very strong, the internals. Have a look at our other video. It shows you what the gearbox looks like inside. They look built like a truck box. I, I, yet, I haven't seen one fail. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I do hope this video has helped us. On behalf of our team here at Sydney, Australia, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.